to this month's maths video. Today I'm going to teach you how to look like a real mind reader using just some cards with numbers on and with the help of my friend Jim Bob. Jim Bob, hi, I'd like you to think of a number up to 63, a whole number, okay, in your head, but don't say it out loud, just keep it in there. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to show you lots of different cards, uh, there's six all together, they've got numbers on them and I want you to look and see whether your number, the number that you're thinking of, appears on any of these cards. Just say yes or no. Okay? So how about that one? Is it on there? No. It's not on that one. This one? No. Not on that one either. Fair enough. This one? Yes. It's on that one there. Okay. And is it on this one? No. Okay. Two cards to go. You're doing very well. Is it on this one? Yes. It is. And the last one? Yes. Okay. Right, now here's where I read Jim Bob's mind. Jim Bob, think of your number. It's the number 11, am I right? Yes. Oh, wow, that's, that's exciting. <laughs> okay, there you go. Would you like to know how it's done? Of course you would. Let's find out. Okay, here's how it's done. Here's the six cards. And the good news is, as a gift, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the secret website where you can get every single one of these cards. You can get this as a download. Now, let's have a look at the cards themselves. The really important thing I want you to look at is the number in the top left-hand corner of each card. Now, it's a bit small, so the next few screens will just show you every single card. And look at the top left number. What do you notice? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, and thirty-two. I wonder if you spotted it. You probably did. It doubles every time. And those numbers are called the powers of two, and we're going to use them to explain the trick. Let's write them at the top of the screen. Let's start by saying somebody chose five. Which numbers at the top add up to five? Can you have a think? Well, obviously 32, 16 and 8 are too big, but four would be a yes, two we don't need, and a one. So we'll mark that with a one for what we need, and a zero for what we don't need. Now here's the genius of this trick. Because five is four and one, five only appears on the four card and the one card. So our spectator is only going to say yes twice. And we simply listen out for the yeses. And when we hear a yes, we add up the numbers that they said yes on. In this example, four and one, and we tell them they're thinking of five. Now let's look at another example. Jim Bob didn't choose 5, he actually chose 11. So obviously not 32 and obviously not 16. The first card that he said yes on was 8. He said no on 4, he said yes on 2, and he said yes on 1. So in my head, I simply added 8 and 2 and 1 to get 11 and told him he was thinking of the number 11. But what if my spectator chooses a higher number? Like, say, for example, 19. Well, he's going to say no on 32. He's going to say yes on 16 and on 2 and on 1. So I listen for those three yeses and I add them up. 16 and 2 and 1 is 19. Once you understand this idea, it's very easy to convince people you're a real mind reader. So let's have a go. Let's suppose you show someone the six cards and here's what they say. So they've thought of their mystery number. We'll hide it behind this yellow box. They say yes when you show them the card with 32. They say yes when you show them the card with 8. And they say yes when you show them the card with 2. Can you think what number they were thinking of? It's 42. Well done if you got it right. Now I've got one final tip for you to make the mental arithmetic a little bit easier. I always start by showing them the 32 card because it just saves having to add 32 to anything. Now if they say yes, I'll show them the 8 card. Because 32 and 8 is quite easy, but if they say no, I'll show them the 16. Now if they say yes a second time, then at least 32 and 8 being 40 isn't too difficult, and then I'll show them the 16. If they say yes again, I'm on 56, but at least I've not had any tricky addition to do. Remember if they say no the first time, I usually show them the 16, and then you can see from the diagram the way I do it. But it's up to you. You can show them in any order you like. The trick will still work. Well, all you need now is the free cards and you're ready to go. Um, here's the web link. You can download them free from my website, which is andrewjeffrey.co.uk forward slash uploads forward slash binary underscore cards dot pdf.